simply shine, simply my shine. What you thinking? It's so pretty. I love I it. A bike. You got a bike? You got a bike? I can ride it. You can ride it. Is your bike? your bike? I can ride it right now. Yes, happy yeah. birthday you. to you. This is too hot. Yeah, I'm, I'll move the seat Well, we can down. move the seat down. Yeah. But of course. Of course, my tinky tinky. How old are you today? Ten. The little one? The big one. Happy birthday, Mia. Oh. How old is Mia today? Um, 46. What? Okay, okay, your, your turn. It's mini brands. Hey. More mini brands. Are you like done with LOL dolls or? No, I just, you said I got too much. More mini brands. Hey. Per. They are so cute. Now we're 20. I don't know, what are they? <laughs> You one of those, right? Quick dilemma. Wait, I had the panda dunks for you. I ordered them for you. And the seller did not send them. Thing. They did not ship them to me. So I had to cancel the order. Hey. Hey. Oh, you can change your laces. Oh. The peach color. I don't, well, these are just regular white laces. I don't need these. You can switch them if you just want them to be white. If you want white laces, you can just use the white laces. It's from Nana. And, and Nanny. Nanny. Oh, yeah, this is Nana. Granddaughter, you are loved in countless ways. A granddaughter colors your world. Yaya, your birthday is the perfect time to celebrate the happiness you bring to life. And every day of the year, you are loved more than you could ever know. Hope you have the best birthday. Love, Nana. Miss you so much. I love you, Nana. I got some money. I got a card with $100. What? Yeah. Nana gave you $100? Thank you, Nana, if you're watching this right now. Love you. And miss you. This one's also from Nanum. I saved my BFF for last. I feel a birthday hug attack coming. Y'all yeah, wishing the best kind of birthday to bright, fun, huggable you. Nana missed you, your hugs, but I miss you more. Love always, Nana. Aww. My BFF, Nanny. On your birthday, great granddaughter, I see the ways you've changed and grown. I miss you. I see the things you learned, the goals you accomplished, the great dances you've come so far. I see how strong, smart, and determined you are, and I couldn't feel prouder or believe in you more. Have a wonderful birthday. Love, Nanny. Miss you. Got an Apple gift card for $50. Period. Thank you, Nanny. Love you so much. Who needs to go to the bakery when I am the bakery, okay? Chef Shells came through. And this was Mia's request. She wanted strawberry cupcakes with vanilla frosting. Is that right, Mia? Yep. First stop, Starbucks. Got a free drink because it's her birthday. You can get stuff at Ulta, Sephora, Bath and Body Works. Yeah, you have to sign up and you have to make sure you put your birthday for a week or you can just put it in like earlier. So what are you drinking on today? The caramel ribbon crunch. Hi guys, so... I'm currently hiding out in Justice's room. This seems to be the only room that's quiet. I want to do a little unboxing for you guys because I got a, I got a new package and I'm so excited. I was a little annoyed a few seconds ago, but then I got a package. I'm gonna tell you I have it. I was waiting for a package to come to my house yesterday. It's a brand deal. They said that they delivered the package. I didn't get the package. So now they're investigating. I'm super annoyed because this has happened multiple times with FedEx. If it was up to me, I would never deal with FedEx. I feel like um, the brand should have required a signature. That way, we could have alleviated all of this. That kind of like irked me because you know I'm trying to get my coins. Yeah, I know what one door closes, another one opens. I got another package. So give to myself a little treat because why not? Here she's so, she's so pretty. Whoa. Now what it is? Got the little Telfy bag. Look at her. Look at this Telfy. I only own one Telfar bag, a black one, and it's like 
furries, a mini tail bar. We had to step it up a little notch, okay? Because you grew up in loving bags. For the longest, I did not like bags. I was such a tomboy. I would always bring my, my license and my lip gloss and put it like in the back of my pocket. I just hated it. Now I can't stop buying them. I definitely need to take an Instagram picture because we're looking cute today. Let me show y'all my whole outfit. Yeah, I finally am wearing the New Balances after returning them three times. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, y'all, we're going to get into a little try-on haul because if you have not checked out my previous video, go check it out because I did a unboxing of Timo. So I wanted to try everything on to see how it actually fit. I have the floral print pajama set and I absolutely love it, y'all. Look at the color, first of all. The color is definitely giving luxury, giving comfort, it's giving fashion. It's so soft, breathable, and it fit me to the T. I got this in a size two and it was perfect. It felt so soft against my skin. Just beautiful for vacation, beautiful for date night, beautiful for just lounging around in the house. So next I have on the Bodycon Solid Sexy Split Dress in long sleeve color black. Absolutely love it. This is also in a size two. Love the way it fits me. It's hugging those hips. The slit makes it look very sexy but still classy. Very comfortable, perfect for date night. Perfect for anything a business meaning. Very professional. Black is always very elegant, but I really, really love this. I cannot wait to wear this. You can dazzle it up with some accessories. I just love the way it fit my body. I'm so shocked because I did not expect for any of these clothes to fit me the way that they do, especially because of the price point and the affordability. I was just like, wow. This dress is my absolute favorite. I love the brightness of it. It gives summer vibes. It's size two. I love the way it fits. I was a little nervous to even get any dresses because of my height. Surprisingly, it fit me to the T, y'all. It was really fitting your girl's body. And I was like, wow, where are we going? I need to show up and show out somewhere. But I really love the color. It looks so good on my skin because you know your girl got high low tan. So it was really making it pop. But I was like, okay. I tried on this royal blue spaghetti strap satin long dress. And I absolutely love this one. This one is giving spice. Talk to me nice. Y'all see it. It's given, take me out to dinner. The badonky is dunking. Like, don't play with me. Your girl got some booty, y'all. The booty is coming in, okay? Y'all see it. I love how it fit me, but it was a little on the long side. It's giving ball. Are we going somewhere elegant? So I would definitely have to put on some high heels, which is not going to happen. I don't do inches. Give me some wedges and some flats. It could also be a nightgown, very sexy nightgown, which I'll probably be using it for. But all in all, I love the color. Royal blue, really a nice color, honestly. I didn't even know how much and how pretty it looks on my skin. Jogger set, and it's like scrunch at the ends. Another day, another dollar. Another day to wake up and be grateful for all that you have. Stop complaining about all that you don't have. Every day that you wake up is a blessing. That's a word for you. Hair, y'all already know, it's not gonna stay like this. I was like, let me just wear it down. Because it looked like it's about to rain in about 2.5 seconds. Y'all know it's gonna end up in a ponytail. The Shantou K Butter Leave-In. We love this stuff, it smells so good, it's affordable. But the only downside to it is that it flakes. And I like to pair it with I paired it with the extreme gel. I love this gel too, but them two together just don't mix. We're gonna put the Dolce and Gabbana on today. Go to really wanna just run to TJ Maxx or Home Goods to see if I can find a mirror. And we'll, we're definitely gonna look for a mirror and I'm also gonna get something to eat because it's almost like two o'clock and I didn't eat anything, which is definitely not something I should get used to doing. My damn nails just popped off. Take a break with the acrylics. Love my acrylics. I feel good when I get my nails done. But when I calculated and added up how frequent I was going and how much I was paying, I dumbed it down just a little bit. So please know your girl went to Walmart and this is what we're working with. I think I paid $5.97 for these and they look so elegant. You be popping off real quick. Cause my little rough ass, but we'll get back on real quick. 
You ain't never gonna know. Update on my tattoo. It is healing very nicely. It's still, it's in the itchy stage right now. I made the mistake last night in my sleep and I itched it and I was like, oh my God. I thought I like ripped the scab. A few of you asked me what do I use to like during the healing process. You want to always make sure you're washing your tattoo with dial soap. This is clutch. It's amazing. It's going to kill any germs. I was rotating between the Aquaphor Advanced Therapy. It's really good. This one is really cool because you can just put it on. You don't have to use your hands. Then I was just using a Vino Daily Lotion, which is really good. It's 24 hour moisturizer. So it locks in and really busy behind the scenes. Like I said, I've been doing a lot behind the scenes. I know I've not been like consistently uploading like I want to. I've been working on an ebook and I can't wait for you guys to see. When I get back, I'll probably like work on it because it's pretty much done. I'm just like looking over, doing revisions and stuff like that. But I've been so excited because I feel like this ebook is going to help you guys like it has helped me. The whole goal is to just keep elevating and growing. <laughs> They already got the Halloween stuff out. That is so cute. Look Fortune at that. Fortune teller. We should get one of these this year. Yes. Justice would love this. I'm getting ideas. I'm getting ideas and I need to get out of this section. This color is so perfect. I'm in love with the news. Yeah, I already know I'm getting ideas to do my room over. Yes, I need that for my bed. <laughs> I love this. These are gorgeous. I absolutely love this lamp. This is beautiful. Absolutely love. Price tag, please. You know, you know. You know, you know. You are not the one. You're not even my crush. You think you're my star, but you barely made the Were you a Please. good boy? Yes! Yes! Mm. yes. Okay, I you can have a donut. Me and me already have one. Ooh. Let me see your first taste of it. Try it. Mmm! Good! Good, Mom. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. Recommend? I'm liking it. It's bustling, Mom. I don't want it now. Why you don't want it? Because you're being bad. No, I'm not your family. You're not my family? No. Three hours later. How many stores did we go to today, Mia? Um, about four or five. Have you guys heard of the store Pop Shelf? I love it. It is an amazing store. I feel like y'all can't see me. Did you just say a store? It's an amazing store. Like <laughs> We went to Bath and Body Works. And we got the strawberry pound cake. Candy. I'm going to buy it every single time. It's going to give every single time. So, I'm about to light it right now. Well uh, then, I got the Shari Pound Cake hand cream for school. I'm putting it in my book bag so I can have it in school so that my hands aren't dry. It smells so good. It really I does. It. it smells so, amazing. We got the Champagne Toast Lip Mask. It's so, so tiny. Then we got the Champagne Toast Lip Scrub. They're both so cute. Hi, boy. You want to come inside? So, I would always go past Pop Shelf and I never just... I don't know, I didn't feel like I, there was a need for me to go into it, but when I'm out with Mia, just know we're gonna explore. First of all, it's so pretty when you go in the store. I just got like miscellaneous things. I got these training pads, 25 of them for five bucks, guys. Such a steal. I also picked up some microfiber dusting cloths, perfect for like cleaning up. I never have enough of these. This is something different, I've never seen it. The skincare applicator, facial massager brush, super cute, never seen it. it looks like it's silicone too. This two pack of cups for justice because I want him to start using cups without straws. Like, he can drink out of a cup, but he likes a straw. I want him to be more independent when he starts school. Got another multi-purpose knife, only a dollar. It probably will rust, but it's good for cutting fruits and stuff like that because I don't like to mix, like, my fruit with my meat. Altogether, all of these literally cost me under $10. You got it? You got it? Come on! Let's go! Wait, watch out. We got a dip. We got a dip. Let's go! Girl got her full body mirror finally, and I'm so happy. I actually got this mirror from Walmart instead of TJ Maxx because I didn't really like the style of them. I didn't like the style of the mirrors that they had. It only was $60. The other ones in TJ Maxx were like $100, 120 I think I should put my computer desk over here. That way this, is nothing's like interrupting this space. I also want like a plant in here, but for now, uh-oh, I think it would look dope like this.
you guys see my vision, right? But I think a nice floor plant would look so great right here. But I want to put these to use because I love the pumpus and I love these vases. I'm going to have fun taking pictures. Hey guys, welcome back to another day. The gang gang. With the gang gang. Hey! I don't even know what time it is. But I just got dressed and the kids and I want to go out and explore Charlotte a little bit more. Wanted to see about the Barbie movie, but unfortunately all tickets are sold out. Growing up, Barbies was my thing. My mom always showed up when it came to my Barbies. Like, I had every single Barbie can. So it's only right that, you know, we just go and see for ourselves. But tickets are sold out, so we'll probably have to do it another day. But we're going to find something else to do because today is really, really, really nice. I have literally been going through so much for the last couple of minutes trying to do this bun. This simple bun. My hair is not cooperating. literally took my hair out the ponytail like seven different times. I was about to just put my bonnet on. On another note, these have me in a chokehold. I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. You want some? Yeah. Hold on. I, put my kids I guess that makes two of us. These are so freaking good. They are pricey. But it's by the brand True Fruit. And it's like frozen chocolate covered strawberries. But they're so good. And I enjoy them so much. And I just can't stop eating it. Mm. You want one? Yeah, I want some. Is it good? Mm. Okay. Is it good? Chocolate kiss? Mm -hmm. Chocolate kiss. I mm. want a chocolate kiss. Mm. Mm. Anyways, no. I am waiting for a package because I ordered a new camera. So I'm gonna do an unboxing with you guys before I close this vlog out. And I'm also going to show you guys a hack. Have we made it no crabby and chance? It's happening in no different It's happening in no crabby hands. It was really giving me a hard time. And I was really about to just go outside with a bottom roll, like I said. And as I was like styling my hair, I was looking at all my brushes. And I was like, this is disgusting. I didn't realize all of the buildup that I had in like my brushes. So here are some of my brushes. As you can see, there's a lot of hair. This one is like the most dirtiest, as you can see. Just a lot of buildup in it. My edge control brush is disgusting. Easy, quick fix. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to clean your brushes and why it's important to clean your brushes and how often you should clean your brushes. So first thing first, we are going to fill up your sink or whatever you're gonna use. Hot water. It's really good to use like boiling water. Add some baking soda. So I'm just gonna pour some baking soda. Apple cider vinegar. Also, a clarifying shampoo. Or if you don't have shampoo, you can just use some Dawn. You have a rat tail comb or something like this. Try to lift the hair up with the rat tail comb. It makes it easier. One thing about me, I never just throw hair directly in. in the garbage, I feel like it's bad luck, so I always flush my hair. I'm technically supposed to get new brushes every six months to a year. And it's really important to change out your brushes and combs. All that white stuff that you see and um, nasty goop and stuff is dead skin cells. Also sebum from our scalp product buildup and all that stuff that you don't want, which can cause inflammation. It can cause an itchy scalp. So if you're wondering why your scalp is itchy more than it should, definitely try to do this like once a week. You don't want to have a clean scalp and then you use a dirty brush. I'm really guilty of it because I'm always on the go. So I'm just like, okay, I see a brush. I'm just going to style my hair, but you can get a lot of like irritation and just like bacteria in your scalp. Baby hair brush is the worst. That's it. I just let it sit for a few minutes. This is what happens when you do not clean your brush. This is all of the stuff that you're putting into your scalp. All that bacteria. We just got a package. We just got a package. We just got a package. I wonder what it is. I'm so excited. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Your girl's camera came in the mail and I got the Sony ZV E10. Currently have the Sony ZV1, which I absolutely love. Great vlogging camera, especially if you're like a beginner. I thought that I would invest in myself because you gotta invest in yourself. You always should bet on yourself no matter what. And if that means spending a little bit more to better yourself or whatever the case may be, I say just do it. Go for it. 
life is about taking risks. First started doing YouTube, I started off with just my camera. So if you're somebody who's like feeling very discouraged because you don't have the setup, you need good lighting, you need your mouth, and you need some type of camera, don't kill yourself. Especially if you are just starting out, don't kill yourself. You will get there when it's your time. I feel like it was my time, you know, to just see what it's about. And if I don't really like it, then I'll bring it back. The one that I really, really, really want is probably almost close to $3,000. Can I see myself paying $3,000 for a camera right now? No. I feel like I could use that for a down payment on a house. As long as you have something to record on, you have an audience that loves you, I'm pretty sure they're going to rock with you until you do better. She's a beauty. You guys know I'm a sucker for presentation. Just get her because of her presentation. I got her because of her features. For like imaging. You want to be able to like look like you can almost touch my face. You know what I mean? I feel like the quality on this is good. This this camera is pretty good. But this is supposed to be like stepping it up just a little bit more. I think it's such a beautiful camera. Very, very pretty. It flips out as well. The, Z, the ZV-1 that I have now does it too. Both of these cameras are in 4K. The megapixel is more or higher on here, which is better. Oh, okay. So included comes a wind muff. This helps to cancel out any noise if you're like outside filming. It also comes with a battery. I'm going to need to order probably two more little holders so you can wrap it around, which I probably won't use. And of course, it comes with the charger. The only con about the Sony ZV-1 that I'm recording on now is that the battery life is ridiculously short. It gives me like less than an hour before it says I need to charge my battery. So I heard that this battery life is going to give me more. If you're interested, this is the Sony ZV-E10. I'll link it in the description. I told you guys that I've been working on an ebook. To be honest, I've been like not procrastinating, but doubting myself. I had to remind myself, go back and reread some of the things in my book to stop doubting myself. When you doubt yourself, that stops you from doing so many things. And even if it doesn't give me the results... Even if it doesn't give me the results that I'm looking for, at least I know I did it with good intentions to help and to uplift somebody. So you know what? With that being said, I'm winning right there. I've never written a book before. When I was a little girl, I had a vision of being an, a writer. Like I used to write lots of poetry. That was something that made me feel good at a very young age. Here we are many, many years later and I say all that to say, better late than never. Some people walking around not even having a, the slightest idea of what they want to do with themselves. But if you're thinking about something that you want to do, even if you don't know how you're going to get it or how you're going to start it, that one thought is all you need. That's all you need. Simply share, simply share. You're watching her on YouTube, and you know she got a vibe.